hello i'm back again um today i'm going to discuss about functional classification of blood vessels as we know the cardiovascular system uh, is composed of the heart and the uh, blood vessels and these blood vessels can be classified uh, based on their structure and functions as we will see in the coming slides It is very interesting to know that the length of the whole network of blood vessels in humans is approximated to be about 60,000 miles. Now, this is just an estimation. Um, and these blood vessels transport million barrels of blood in a lifetime. And human body consists of hundreds of arteries, about half a million of arterioles, and about 10 billion capillaries. Now, there are five classes of blood vessels, namely arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules and veins arteries uh, transport oxygenated blood from the heart to tissues except uh, one artery which is pulmonary artery which transports uh, deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs while arterioles connect arteries to capillaries at the level of the tissue Capillaries, which are small vessels with high uh, permeability, they form uh, the site of exchange between blood and tissues. And this exchange include exchange of gases, uh, nutrients, and uh, waste products. While venules connect capillaries with veins, and veins return deoxygenated blood from tissues to the heart with exception of pulmonary veins which return oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. In another way of classification, uh, blood vessels are classified into elastic, low resistance, high resistance, exchange and capacitance vessels. Elastic vessels, um, they have an elastic wall and they accommodate change in pressure because they are able to stretch uh, and they are very important in regulation of blood pressure. Example is the aorta. We have the low resistance vessels uh, which usually carries blood from aorta to uh, different sites of the body, and they have low resistance to blood flow. The high resistance vessels have a smaller diameter compared to the low resistance ones, um, and that's why they have resistance to blood flow. Example are the arterioles, then the exchange vessels, which are the capillaries that uh, form the site of exchange uh, of substances between blood and tissues. And then the capacitance vessels, they are able to distend and they usually contain large volume of blood. That's why they are called capacitance. Examples are the veins.
Now this slide uh, shows the characteristics of the vessels, the arteries, arterioles, capillaries, and uh, veins. The arteries usually form in the elastic vessels and the low resistance vessels, the arterioles, uh, which are usually high resistance, capillaries, um, the site of exchange, therefore exchange vessels, and the veins, the capacitance uh, vessels. So if you look at the slide, you will see uh, the characteristic possessed by each group. In summary, blood vessels can be classified into arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules and veins. In another way, they can be classified into elastic, low resistance, high resistance, exchange and capacitance vessels. You can subscribe free for more upcoming topics. Thank you for watching.